Hi golfers, Nick here for Nick Tele Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on golf tips, I'm going to share with you one of my favourite drills to stop you from slicing the golf ball. Slicing is one of the biggest issues I see day in, day out in here in the Bay at Golf Tech and also working with you golfers from around the world. And I know some of you have tried almost everything to stop slicing, but today's video I'm going to show you one of my favorite drills and it's related to how we control this club face. The club face is one of the most important factors in the golf swing, especially if you're slicing the golf ball. And something that's quite misunderstood and a very simple drill, all you're going to need to stop you from slicing is a coat hanger. Slicing is one of the biggest issues I see and sometimes you can have a great looking golf swing, make good contact, but you just can't stop slicing the golf ball. And I think it's something that sometimes is misunderstood or overlooked sometimes is quite important in the golf swing. And that's how we control this club face. So you may have a really good golf swing that swings the golf club into out. So a good example of that would be someone that hits a shot and you can see on the screen here, just start slicing off the planet. And I hit that ball pretty well. I tried to swing that as good as, I, as good as I could, but as you can see there, the ball slice off. And when we take a look at some of that club data there, even though the contact was pretty good, as you can see on the screen there, and I swung eight degrees into out and I hit down on the ball, the ball just sliced off. And that's because the face was open to my swing path. So my face was seven degrees open to my swing path that was into out. So even though you're swung into out and make good contact, you can still slice the golf ball. And that's how we control this club face. So when you take a look at what the best players do, they'll generally swing into out and you'll tend to see a draw. So this would be my sort of normal golf swing in comparison. So you can see there it started just to the right. It's just overdrawn slightly. Um, so probably just exaggerated that a little bit, kind of the opposite to what I did on that previous shot. So that time there, I still swung into out. The swing path was very similar swing path, but as you can see, the ball flight is completely different and the distance is completely different as well. So that time there, I swung six degrees into out, uh, but this time the face was closed to the path. So the swing path was very similar. In fact, the one that sliced off the most was actually swinging more into out. So sometimes just swinging more into out doesn't mean that you're going to suddenly just draw the golf ball. There's, there's a lot more to it than that. So it's how we control this club face. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite drills. If you video your golf swing, uh, taking a look at the, the side view camera here, this is the best one to sort of look at what the club face does. So as we swing back here, you want this club face to be roughly at the angle of the spine once we get to position two, which is shaft parallel. As we get to left arm parallel, you can still see the grooves on the face. And my left wrist here is reasonably flat. One of the biggest issues I see with golfers that slice, they either cut this wrist too much and or roll the face open in the takeaway. So if you start to open that face that early on, you're gonna really struggle to square that up. And a couple of things will happen. So once I get to the top here, if my club face is open, the only way I can actually get this to work is if I start swinging across the golf ball. So when the face is that far open at the top of the swing, the only way you can actually get this anywhere near the target is by swinging across to sort of counteract that open face and hopefully hit a pull fade onto target. If I was to swing on the inside with a face this open, then I'll just hit that first shot here, which was technically a push slice. It wasn't really a proper pull slice, but it was more of a push slice. So understanding where the ball starts and which way it curves is kind of going to give you an idea of what your ball flight does. So the biggest issue I see is pull slicing where golfers have got the face so open that they start swinging across to counteract that. So how do you fix that? Well, there's a couple of key checkpoints. Certainly once we get down into the downswing here, we should still be able to see this club face. Now, sometimes I'll teach golfers that have the face so open here. And then from here, like I said, they're either gonna swing across it or really try and square that face up. And again, that will cause inconsistent contacts. And again, generally will tend to pull slice the ball. In the downswing, as we get down to sort of left arm parallel, we wanna try and get this left wrist as flat as possible. And a good feeling for this would actually be to feel like your logo is pointing at the camera here. So what you're gonna need for this drill today is a coat hanger. So what I'm gonna do is just place the, the coat hanger up the shaft and then I'm just gonna grip around it. And you'll see this part of the top here will stick out. And the idea is when we grip the golf club here, we're trying to get this part of the hanger on the left forearm here, just on the inside of the forearm. And this is gonna act as a 
guide for how we use our wrist in the golf swing. If I'm able to keep this part of the hanger against my arm, that's going to keep this wrist flat in the golf swing. As soon as I start cupping the wrist here, this is going to pull the, the coat hanger away from my arm as soon as I start cupping that wrist. And that wrist cupping is one of the, the biggest issues I see golfers sort of opening the face and slicing the golf ball. So if you're able to, first of all, just get the feeling of keeping that coat hanger there in the golf swing, that's going to keep your wrist flat. And as you can see, my face is closed here as I come down, as opposed to the wrist being cupped and the face being open. As you can see, when I cup it, this pulls away from my forearm here. First thing that you need to do is just make some swings, just trying to get a feel for that. So grip around it and just try and keep the, the pressure there through the swing. And this is going to keep that face closed to the path I'm swinging on, as opposed to being open to the path that I'm swinging on in that first shot. So once you can do some swings and you start to hit the ground, then you can start to hit some shots. So I've got the, the coat hanger here on my inside of my left forearm and then to start with I'm just going to hit some little swings, just keeping that coat hanger there. As you can see there, that was a nice little tight push draw. So it's only a half swing, so it hasn't gone a long way, but as you can see on the screen there, it was a draw. My swing path again was around seven degrees into out, but the face was closed to my swing path and that's where you get the draw from. So this is a really good drill to really get that feeling of keeping the face closed. So you've got a couple of key checkpoints really. Where the club face is as you come down. By the time we get to position six, when the shaft's parallel on the downswing, again, we want that toe slightly down. If that face is anywhere near vertical, even higher or more open than that, then that's only gonna slice from there. So by the time we get to this point here, we want that face to be pointing slightly down. This wrist or the logo on my glove here, you wanna feel like it's pointing almost down at the ground. That's going to stop you from uh, having that face too far open as you come into impact. So really simple drill there guys to stop you from slicing the golf ball, just using a coat hanger. Just check that wrist position, check that club face, there's a few checkpoints there if you video your golf swing. So thanks for watching golfers, if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up. If you want to find out a little bit more about the stack and tilt golf swing, check out this playlist and I'll see you again next week for another video. The most